Why is it that we measure pressure in lengths or height of a fluid? This is known as hydrostatic pressure. So this is pressure measured in fluids that aren't flowing. So pressure is equal to force divided by area, which is equal to mass times acceleration divided by area, which on the surface of the Earth, the accelerating force is G, so that's mass times G divided by area. Now mass is equal to density, which is mass per unit volume, multiplied by volume, which implies that pressure is equal to density times volume times G divided by area. Now volume divided by area, take this out, that would be equal to length or height of a container. Therefore, pressure is equal to density times gravity times height. We've eliminated volume divided by area. So then if we take two columns of liquid, let's use water as an example. These two columns have different volumes, different surface areas and different masses. So what are the pressures P1 and P2 that are produced at the bottom of these two containers of the same liquid of different sizes? As both containers contain water, the density is constant and gravity is constant. So this means that rho g is a constant. So pressure is therefore effectively equal to height. And as H1 equals H2 in this example, both P1 and P2 are equal in spite of different masses, different surface areas, and different volumes of fluid above them. And this is why we can measure pressure as a height of a column of specified liquid of constant density. For example, millimetres of mercury or centimetres of water.